What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I'm telling you a little story. So, basically, as you've seen from the title of the video, I was in an I'm Just Nick video. Now, I'm explaining to you how this all came around. So I'm Just Nick. Nick is a YouTuber that has got 1.7 million subscribers. He's from Canada. He is a homosexual YouTuber. Um, he's a really nice guy. He does like loads of videos talking about uh, well, anything from like prank videos to just general talking to his audience. Um, he's basically, he's basically just like a gay inspirational person. Um, a lot of people look up to Nick and I, it's easy to see why. He's such a nice guy. But anyway, so the story leading up to this. So I was at college with my friend Alex. Now Alex has been a fan of Nick for around four years, I believe. And Alex is a cinematographer. So he does... He's a professional video person, so he does um, like videos for weddings and edits them, like you, you know stuff like that. And I believe Nick posted on his Instagram story um, that he needed someone to film a video in London that day. And it's a bit stereotypical, but most Americans view England as London. Anywhere else, they're like, "What the fuck's that?" Um, and obviously, we don't live in London. We live in. I live in a town outside of London. Um, so going to London is not a thing I do on the occasion. I don't like going, I don't really like London very much. I think the people there are all really rude. Um, and yeah, it's just not for me. But Alex was like, I really like, Nick gave Alex the opportunity to come to London and film. And Alex was like really wanting to go. So I was like, I put it into perspective and I was like, this is essentially for Alex, my opportunity, if I was to get to meet someone like Grimm, uh, Grimm's Toy Show, or someone like that. Um, so I said to him, you know what, mate, I'll go with you, sure thing. Um, so we had to go to Canary Wharf. We got the train from uh, Watford to Canary Wharf. And then, yeah, so that was that. We waited for a bit, we met Nick, and there's this big stereotype that all YouTubers are assholes, uh, especially the big ones like Logan Paul. and. It doesn't apply for everyone. Honestly, Nick, you wouldn't know he's a YouTuber. He is the most down-to-earth, nice person I've met. He was so welcoming. It wasn't awkward at all. Um, he bought us lunch for the day. And yeah, he was just so nice. Like even in the video, you can see, because I, I wasn't too bothered about whether I was on camera or not. Obviously, I'm used to having a camera in my face, but um, he'd try and get me involved. Um, you can see in the video, I'll leave a link to the video in the descriptions because it's a really funny video, you should give it a watch. Basically he got lip fillers and then he wanted us to film for him. Um, but yeah, he was such a nice guy on camera and off camera. Like literally, and uh, he's so confident as well. Like he was li he was filming and talking to the camera on the train when there was loads of people. I wouldn't have been able to do that. Um, there's a difference between performing a wrestling match in front of a crowd of people and actually talking on camera, you know what I mean? It's a completely different confidence. That's if you were not thinking, how are you ever going to wrestle if you know you're not confident in front of, talking in front of people? But that's that, uh, completely different. But he was such a nice guy. The video's great. I'm in quite a few scenes. He did give Alex a shout out at the start. Um, I commented on the video, so and he hearted it, so he knows. He follows me on Instagram now, um, which you all can down below. But it's it's just amazing, to be honest. He was a really nice guy, and it's just a nice little story that I've got to tell. Uh, so if anyone says, oh, look, Nick posted this, I'm like, yeah, I know him. Hopefully, he'll use Alex again. But um, I wasn't really there. I was sort of the um, the person to look out for them, I guess you can say, because um, Alex wasn't too confident going by himself to, to London, which is fair enough. Um, so I feel like if he had me there, he felt a bit more confident in himself. Um, so that was absolutely fine. Um, hopefully, I hope that Alex gets the opportunity to film for him again because it was a really good experience. I know he enjoyed it a lot and I'd happily probably go again. Um, but yeah, that was just my little story time. Go and check the video out, guys. It is a long video, but it's worth it. I've put some little screenshots up through this video of scenes that I was in. Um, but yeah, anyways, I do hope you enjoyed this little story video. If you did, be sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. If you're coming from Nick's channel, be sure to, if you're a wrestling fan, you're really welcome here. Um, no matter if you're for sexuality, it does not matter. You are welcome to watch my videos. You're welcome to enjoy my videos as much as anybody else. But once again, you guys have been awesome. Stay tuned for more wrestling content. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Goodbye.